Hello friend, welcome back. In this video, I want to discuss about some of the JavaScript features like there is the ES6 features, there is a var, let and the constant. So it's used for declare some of the variables. So before we have used that var for declare some of the variables. So when this ES6 is updated, so into this ES6 features, there is a let and the constant. So with this let and the constant, you can also declare some of the variable. Okay, so right now I want to uh, discuss about that things with you. What is exactly the main difference between the var, let and the constant? right so step by step everything will be very much clear to your friend so now for doing this uh, that is our one of the folder i have created in our desktop that is the exercise folder so whatever the things we'll do in particular that project area i will save all that file in particular this folder area that is exercise file one of the folder and after end of this course i will share that file with you okay so whatever the file will be needed you will get all that file from to this position I will save all that file in our this exercise folder and I will share that folder with you. So you can download this folder. So right now also we will need one of the um, editor. So right now I am using the sublink text editor. Okay. So first of all I want to do I want to create one of the folder. Here I cre have created one of the folder as a whatever you want. So right now I name it as a JavaScript. Okay, I just name it one of the folder as a JavaScript. So now I want to do, I want to add this folder in our sublink test editor. So that is also one of the editor that is totally free, free one of the software. You have to do, you have to download that things from to the Google and then simply install it in your system. And after you install that sublink text editor, you will get this type of one of the uh, pop-up box. And right now from here, if you want to create new window, you can create new window, okay? you can create new window. So right now I want to do, I want to add our project. That means this folder that is drag and drop system. So here I just simply add our this project folder in our sublink test editor. Okay, friend. So now I just simply open it. And into the sub um, JavaScript folder area, I want to do, I want to create one of the new file and I just name it. So I just click as a save as, and I just name it as a variable. Okay, variable.js because of all right now we are working with the javascript right so that is actually our js file that is our extension and that is our variable so if you have little idea about the javascript so into the javascript if you show some of the value then how you will visible it so here if you want to display um, some of the value like then you have to define as a var and i just take as a one of the variable and i just put that one of the value as a 10 right so that is actually var that is our keyword and that is our variable and that is our value right friend so that is one of the javascript code and when our es6 that means when our es6 is updated so now we can also declare your variable that will be the late right so it will be just just like that same concept so here you can use the var for declared that variable you can use that late for declared that variable right friend so that is pretty much basic things i think you already know about it so now i want to do i want to discuss about that things with you how what is exactly that a difference between var lead and the constant right so right now i want to do that work for doing this better i want to do i want to create one of the function so i just create one of the function i just name it as a foo so now i just simply create one of the functions and also they have the another function you can display like that is a, one of the arrow functions so if you want to display the arrow function then you have to write down as a this one and then that is actually our arrow function style okay so that is actually our arrow function so i will do that things later right now i want to work for our this variable part that means here i have created one of the function and i just named that function name as a foo so now here I want to do, I want to add one of the for loop. I just simply added one of the for loop and here into the for loop area. So right now we don't need this. I remove it and into the things position. So into the things position, I just make the things as a zero. Okay. So that means that into the var, that is a one of the I, that means also one of the variable. And into this variable, I just define that variable as a zero. And then I want to do it will be as a hmm, that means this variable will be less than and it will be less than as a four. So I just put as a four and then it will be automatically incremented. So I just simply added as a double plus. 
right friends so here that is our function name into the function area i declared one of the for loop and into the for loop area with, with this var so as i told you if you want to declare some of the variable you can declare it with this var right so with this var i declared one of the variable as a i and i just put that variable uh, first of all it should be as a zero and then our this variable will be a uh, less than our four and then automatically it should be incremented because of all that is one of the loop right so now i want to do i want to display some of the message so here into display right now i am actually using that console mode then it should be better so i just name it as a console and console and the log and to the console log area here i want to pass some of the strain value as a easy learning okay i just name it as a easy learning so i just simply put the things and here i want to do if you that is actually our for loop right so you do the for loop area and after that for loop here i want to do i want to add another console console and the log and do the console log area here i already take one of the variables so that is our i variable i just declared that things with this var right so now i want to do i also want to visible it in our console log area i just simply pass our this variable so that is our i so what exactly it should be do so right now i want to do want to actually print our this foo that means this function so here i just simply added our function so i just simply added that function so now if you want to display this result right now i just click on the save all and now go to our project so into the javascript folder they have i have created our variables.js so now i want to do i want to actually open our console so i just make that things as a cmd and now you have to do you have to define as a node into the node and then our file name so our file name i have created as a variable.js variable.js so now if you click as a enter yes you can see it's now perfectly display all that our string data and also display our variable id like if you go and now i think you can well understand about it so you can see i just make the things as it should be started from to the zero and then i added our less than the four and automatically it should be incremented that means the fourth time it should be incremented our this console data so that is our easy learning right so now you can see it's not perfectly visible so better i make the things a little bit here okay now you can see it's now perfectly display our easy learning and also after that so that means after that for loop i have also used that console log i okay and into the console log i area into the console log i area if you match you can see it's also visible as a four that means this var so so when you use that var keyword it will be as a global okay so you can see it's now totally global because of all i also declared our variable outside that for loop right so for the reasons when you make any variable as a globally then you have to do you have to use that var okay friend i hope you can well understand about it so now let's check this out our another one there's a let so if you want to use that let so right now i just put that as a let and now i want to do and to make that things as a note okay i just comment out it it so here i just simply comment out this one and now if you click as a save all and now if you run again that means here i run our again that node and that variable.js you can see it's now perfectly display our all that string data that means it's now perfectly display our all the distinct data with our this keyword that is a late keyword but right now that is our for loop right so into this particular this for loop area actually it's working but if you want to access our this one that means the outside that for loop then what exactly it should be do now i just click as a save all and now if you run again node and the variable yes you can see now actually showing some of the error it's now showing as the i is not defined that means this i is not defined i hope you can well understand about it what is the difference between that var and that let so into the let area it will be only working with appropriate one of the function area but when you want to make the things as a globally then you have to do you have to use that things on here as a var okay friend so now if you want to make the things with our constant like that is actually our another one as a constant so now i want to use that constant our keyword so into the constant keyword what exactly it should be do like if you now click as a save all 
and now I want to run it again click as enter yes you can see now actually it's showing our appropriate this position and constant use for when constant use for when you want to make your variable value as constant that means you cannot change that variable value okay right now you can see i define as a, i will be as i started with the zero but if after that position automatically it should be incremented right that means when it should be incremented our value will be increased it should be increased as a one and then the two and then the three right friends so when you use that constant you cannot actually change that value so i think you can well understand about it what exactly the difference between both of these so into the constant area it should be as a fixed that means it should be as a constant it should be not able to app increment at this value so for the reasons you can see it's now perfectly getting this error so it's not perfectly getting this error in our this line it's not actually showing our this error because of all he getting that error in particular this line area so when our value will be updated automatically it will be show some of the message but when you use that let when you use that let our this for loop function will be work but it will be get that error after that for loop area okay i show you again click the save all and now i just simply add again you can see it's not perfectly display our this portion that means our for loop is perfectly working and after that for loop this area that means after that for loop our this area it should be getting that error you can see it's not getting that error as i is not defined that means here i added our console log as i so it's now getting our this error that means that's all about that range that means when you use that as a constant it will be only perf working for our this value option area when you i use that late the late will be appropriately working a specific this for loop area and when you make the things as a var when you will be use that as a var then this will be for our globally then it will be as a global so now if you click as a save all and then run it again yeah you can see it's not perfectly working our for loop and that is our outside that for loop that i added our variable so that is our variable as a y i so i value as actually the four so now you can see it's not perfectly visible our four value so friend i think it's very much clear to you what exactly that difference between our var the late and the constant so i think friend it's totally clear to you so you know next video i want to discuss about that arrow function Okay, so how can working with this arrow function in our next video, I will show you that things with a live example. So, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.